The one and one Tigers make the three hour trip north and want to get back in the win column and look to their senior all everything Ryan Malden to lead the way. The host Sun Devils also in need of a victory after getting shut out in week two. Their big two way stud senior Matthew Redmond. Breezy conditions on an otherwise beautiful afternoon for football here in Cherry Hills. Late first quarter, no score. La Hunta is in the red zone as quarterback Nathan Frankmore rolls far side, shows patience. He hits James Reeder for the 12-yard touchdown, and the Tigers strike first. It's six to nothing. Later, it's Kent rolling the dice on fourth and short, but Redmond is stuffed by the Tigers' defense. That would lead to this. Now second quarter, Frank Moore moves left, pitches to Antonio Chavez, who just gets inside the pylon. It's a six-yard score. And watch the execution here on the conversion attempt. Frank Moore fakes the quick pass, gives to Malden, who draws the pursuit, and floats the perfect toss to Cody DeReza. That's a successful PAT for two points. It's 14 to nothing. But the Sun Devils answer. Quarterback Alec Romo Nichols rolls right. So does everybody else on the field. He fires back left side to a wide open Declan Sohn for the 12-yard touchdown. And we go to the break with La Hunta leading by seven. During the intermission, who's that tall guy spinning toy footballs to the little kids? Nice arm. Peyton Manning checking out the 2 way football. To the second half, still 14-7, and the Tigers are threatening again as the give is to the big junior fullback Mitch Peabody. He rumbles in for the four-yard touchdown, and that's all the Tigers would need. They get the impressive 21-7 win over the Sun Devils. With the loss last week, we really wanted to come out strong. Uh, we're pretty upset that we lost Alamosa, so we wanted to show the Sun Devils that we're, we're still in business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.